Yes, as I promised last week that we're going to be speaking with uh, one of my friends, but he's also a very, very, what should I say before he starts laughing at me? He is uh, a man who's running the biggest show in London, the biggest show in Europe. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Pax. You right, sir? Oh, can't complain, you know. Now that you're here, the complaints are gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are things going? Yeah, it's not bad. Right, yeah. I'm hanging in there like everybody else. Yeah. Wow, it's been a, it's been a, a wow, really. So me just saying, I need, I need to chat with you. I need to chat with you. I need to chat with you. So I'm glad that's happened now. Um, my name is Matthew Phillip, uh, Chief Executive of Carnival Village Trust, um, and also Notting Hill Carnival and the Tabernacle and the Yard Centre. Oh, okay. And when did you take over this uh, big monster, Notting Hill? Um, Notting Hill in 2018, um, and I became the CEO of the trust in April of last year. Yeah. And has there been any change? Because in the past, it's always been like, uh, you know, uh, a lot of politics, a lot of this and that. It's, it's important to remember that, you know, I or we, my team, we don't run Carnival. We're part of a much bigger machine, which is the Carnival community. And we try, uh, we, you know, we make our best endeavours to communicate with them, give them information and also listen to what they're, they're, listen to what they're saying. Yeah. You, know, you know what, Matthew, I've known you when you were a very, very young person. And yeah. uh, I can't find this video, but there's a video of you uh, playing Ben Ladeni, Ben Boo, Ben Boo, whatever, with uh, Books, Bo was it Booksy, who was yeah, conducting the two fun. Yeah. Now, I want to find out something about the young people. Matthew, if you were young, like how we were before, and you met somebody like Matthew, who runs this big carnival, who also runs the steel band, who's also a parent and so on, what do you do advise them? Well, it's for me, behind it, you know, I, I love carnival, and then anybody that loves carnival, and, you know, it's, it's something that's within them. And, and, you know, I think there are a lot, you know, I do speak to younger people within Carnival and I think they, that, you know, the future is very bright as long as we can continue to work with them and, and they, they maintain their interest in Carnival. Carnival's mm. going to have a, a good future, but we've got to do a lot more work to help make it easier for them. True, yeah. And also be there to support in, 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 in later years. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me, Pax. Now... Welcome back to the program. And uh, this time we are going to go completely different. We are going to present a gentleman who at the moment is like the king of uh, costume making in UK. Uh, he's a well-known, people say wire bender, but he's got a more technical name than that. That person is the person who actually has only a few designers left in UK now from the old school. And this gentleman, I've worked with him for years and I respect him so much. I respect his work and a lot of people respect his work. That gentleman is Carl Gabriel, ladies and gentlemen. Carl, how are we doing, sir? Yes. Yes, sir. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah? I'm fine. How are you? Well, I can't complain, you know. Surviving, that's that's the yeah. word. Survival is the word at the moment. Uh, otherwise, well, yeah. anything else, you end so up being stressed. Yeah, what's this project you on now? Well, we're doing this Janka new project, which is trying to encourage people to use recycled material, but also try to encourage people not to pollute, to po pollute the world. So if anybody who uses non-motorized things rather than these heavy, gassy generator things, they become Jankanu. <laughs> Any artist who works with stuff that's recycled and so on, they become Jankanu. So people who work with wire, cardboard and so on, they become Jankanu. So you are the biggest junk a new person I know. So we're going to talk to you about your work, sir. Uh, and at the moment, I just said, Yo, what you do is called wire bending and I want you to correct me. Well, I'm, I'm a trained sheet metal worker. And um, for this carnival activities, I use traditional wire, mild steel wire. And um, they say, why well, don't really bend the wire? I shape the wire, I form the wire. So it's all about shapes and forms. 
the only time I bend is if I'm doing a 95 degree or over that. Right. Yeah, but most of it is, is shaping and forming and fabricating with wire. Okay. So, I mean, where did you learn this tradition? I've, because I've figured I've loaded you for years. And when you had your band, uh, what was the name of your band again? Uh, Misty. 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 Misty yes. was the name of the band. <laughs> yeah. So, those days when you had well, Misty. Right. The... right. You see, when I learned this, this, this skill, well, as I say, I'm, I'm a engineer. And yeah. what, what, by a carnival bands and carnival technicians, I felt I could have contributed something. And I just felt I had the ability to, to create sculptures and the sort of stuff that I do. I didn't really go anywhere to learn that. You didn't go anywhere? I didn't go anywhere to learn that. No, no, no. That's just me waking up one day and thinking, oh, I can do that. And having a go. Uh, why, why is it that I can't believe you? Well, because I'm so good. <laughs> I can't believe you, Mr. Gabriel. <laughs> I know, I I'm do so know good, that. That's why. I do know that you did start. I, photo I said I was going to say to you, I do know I that you studied photography, and uh, and then you did quite a lot of photography because I knew most of your work I knew was more to do with you as a photographer. But these uh, element yes, they are doing yes. now, these LA technical engineer and so on, I really do not believe that you just woke up one day and you understand well, started doing wire well, that, that's my hidden, that's my hidden, that's my hidden talent, you know. That's so. So when you guys come to challenge me, you know, I can pull that out of the bag, you know, because you know, in this, in this fraternity, everybody feel like they're master, they're master carnival designer, master carnival, you know, you know, yeah. and I just. Decided that I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna and I'm gonna be using the most basic material. So, as you see, most of my my stuff is done using um, recycled paper, bamboo cane, and wire, mm -hmm. and and then finishing it by hand painting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I yeah. keep it all that way. There's no sort of modern material. None of your plastic and your your foam and stuff like that. Nah, that's not me. But is, is, is it always been your aim to work like that? Or you were forced it because they value been my aim. Sorry. It, it has always been my aim Sorry. to keep it, keep it very, very traditional, keep it basic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really show the, the audience, my audience, that, you know, beautiful, just art can be produced using basic material, things that people doesn't even consider. I mean, things like dry leaves and bits of old cardboard and newspaper, discarded newspaper and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I mean, that is obvious in your work anyway. Uh, I would like to, uh, if you don't mind, I would use this opportunity to really to, to also pray tribute to Lynette. Uh, because the Metro did this feature okay. on you. And uh, you guys always work together all the time. Uh, and uh, the Metro did uh, an article on you. Uh, I don't know if you have seen this yeah. article. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, well, obviously, um, I, I started off, as I say, using that wire and stuff. Then, it's funny enough, I met Lynn. <laughs> I met yeah. Lynn once I got into this sort of yeah. carnival fraternity proper. And then Lynn brought another dimension to the work. I would do all the technical stuff, all the, the wire bending, as you call it, and the, 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 the structure. And then Lynn will come on board and finish it off. She would do all the, the covering with the, with the fabric. Again, natural fabrics, so 100% cotton, stuff like that. And um raffia, you yeah, know, that's that's what Lim they, they do. I said remember every time really that I could tell that's your work know. and any work that's got lean in it. Like this lion here, definitely <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that's Carl Gabriel, I'll say that's Lynette. Yeah, I oh, would say that's Carl Gabriel. That is that's definitely Lynn's that's definitely Lynn's work. Hmm. Yeah, and then yours is yours that's is crazy. Your work, work is they 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 yeah. what, 
I did I did the wire structure to make like a because we were school and they wanted you know multiple sort of lion heads mm-hmm. and um so I did the wire s- structure and then Lynn did the, the papier mache and the, the rest of it she painted it and put the the furs and everything on. <laughs> Is is this the one that we yeah, ended? That's... Is this the one that we ended up having at the Carnival Center in Luton? Um. Yes. yes. Anyway, for those of you who remember Lynette, uh, we're actually playing tribute to her. And those who don't know, Lynette was like really the other half of Cow Gabriel. And I've always known them to be together all the time, and they made quite amazing work. Look at that. That's you like 600 years ago. Look at what? Well, 600 years ago, you look like a young, happy man. Look at that. Now you look like this. Uh, you see, now you look like this very rich uh, young man. I say I'm looking rich because of all the parents. <laughs> anyway, all the listen. That you bring to me. Yeah. So listen, this what? video here, yeah. I, I always remember this video because... It, it just shows what sort of person you are because you're always a gentleman. I come and harass you when you're in the middle of a deadline, but it's too sort of like, yeah, come, yeah, come, yeah, come. This one here makes me laugh because it's the same thing. You are trying to do yeah, something boy. and the guy's insisting on chatting to you. <laughs> no, Listen to that. How you make that? Paper, cloth, and all oh, kind of nice things. Thing. But yeah, what gave you the concept talking. to make the pan like this? Well, listen. Because I, this I, is I, a tuna pan, isn't move, it? Move, I'm from the old school, right? Uh-huh. And I believe in keeping the culture alive. Uh-huh. And um, I designed this for the old pan man. One love. You know? Play a good man. Nice. All right. What a gentleman. You're always a gentleman, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what what did you use for making this one? It looks like you used right, cotton. It's just wire. That is just wire, galvanized oh. wire. And Where does it look? Hand. There's no welding in that. It's all hand done. Wow. I've used, I use my steel wow. wire, galvanized straight wire, and then I use chicken wire, and it's laid. I go about to, 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 to obtain that sort of like weave look. Yeah. Masterpiece, man. That's that's. Oh. that's is, is, this that, is this one that was at VNA or this is something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was at VNA as well. Yeah, National Museum of of England. How much of your work is in there? And I did one at uh, the the Science Museum as well. Oh, is this to do with the environment? Yeah. Uh, it, all my stuff is about the environment. Everything it's it, you know it's like mm-hmm. focusing on, on the earth and, and the natural materials and stuff. Everything. You see, the the foundation is all about. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 Ah. That piece was done. See, I did this this, this sculpture. Yeah, then the, the kids at the um, ah. school in Brixton, they they did all the. The coloring and the painting and the design. Anyway, listen, Carl. Uh, because of all the technical problem we've got here, uh, you've managed yeah. to demonstrate the stuff that I want about being the environment and so on. What would be your advice to them? Somebody who sees your work and say, "I want to do that." What would you advise them? Well, I think everybody everybody has certain ability right mm. and if if a, a young designer decide right they want to get into carnival you know do something different be different don't follow everybody not because everybody is using feathers and glitter you feel um to get to be seen you need to be using those materials. Think outside the box. Think different. Bring something new to the, 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 the to the to the party, as we say. And be at the as you notice. Uh, I've never followed anybody. You know, they all for and now um, I'm working on another big project for uh, um, National Trust 
uh, house and, and gardens up in in Yorkshire. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I've got quite a lot of work to do for them. Mm. Plus, I've done I'm doing stuff for colleges and things like that. So um, I'm quite busy. I'm not free to go around the country as as before, but apart from that, I'm I'm quite busy. I'm working. A lot of people watching uh, would be very interested in what you are going to say and so on. So, and I know some of them actually follow you already anyway on Lin- LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and all that. So, so you, uh, I'm glad that you know you so see you, everything's going for you. There, there's no stoppage. So, thank you very much. Anybody want to see more of the work? Anybody want to see the, the work that go on? Um, uh, on Google, they can Google me, Carl Gabriel, artist, or Carl and Lynn, artists, and you, you'll see a lot more of my work and some of the clients that I've worked.